Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some second chance romances. I do have previous recommendation videos with this trope so I'll leave those down below if you want even more recommendations but here are 10 more second chance romances. First one that I have is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. I love this book so much. It's so cool. I love how the author wrote this one because the present day chapters are all in the heroine's point of view and the past chapters are all in the hero's point of view and I love that so much. She did it so well. The heroine is a wedding planner and she gets the wedding of the season, like a celebrity wedding. And she's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. The only stipulation is that they really want this specific florist to make the floral arrangements for their wedding. And she's like, crap. Okay, so she has to bite her tongue and go talk to the florist in question, who is a man she has history with, who is our hero. So the whole book, you're trying to figure out what happened to these two? Why aren't they talking anymore? Why don't they like each other anymore? And why aren't they freaking in love already? So I love this one so stinking much. It's so good. Like I wish I could just read more about these two characters. I just want more about them. I also have A Northern Stars by Brittany Cherry. This one is a best friends to lovers romance. These two were childhood best friends and next door neighbors. They grew up next to each other and were best friends and ended up falling for each other. But then when the hero is I think around like 17, 18, he gets cast in a movie and actually becomes famous and the media comes into his life and starts bullying the heroine. She's a plus size young woman. They start saying awful things about her and she decides to distance herself from him because it's just ruining and wrecking her mental health. This then jumps to present day when they haven't seen each other in years, but he comes back to their small town and uh, things happen between the two of them, but definitely triggering in here for fat phobic comments, cyberbullying, like it's so bad. So just please be aware before you go into this one, but I love it. Brittany knows how to hit you with like the emotional gut punch. Next I have Kill Switch by Penelope Douglas. I don't know how to talk about this book without spoiling. I do not. So this is a dark romance, the third book and Penelope is um, dark romance series. I don't remember the name of the series, um, but it's a third book in a series that I feel like should be read in order but this one's about damon and winter winter is blind damon is out to ruin her life and that's all i can say so if you're wanting to read this one read book number one and get to this one you got to read them in order i promise same thing with nightfall which is the next book in the series which fits under the second chance prompt and i can't talk about this one either but it's about another guy in this friend group and his romance with a woman he has history with. Man, I feel so bad. These like dark romances, I can't really talk about all that much. But if you're wanting to read these books and you have not yet, please do. It's like your push too. This is a novella by Brenda Jackson. I think I listened to this one. So if you want a novella on audio, this one has an audio book. But this is a black love romance. Both of these characters met during spring break when they were in college and they had like an amazing like fling together for the week, but they haven't seen each other in years. They bump into each other four years later at a bar and like all bets are off for our hero. He's like, oh my gosh, this is like fate. She's back in my life. I'm gonna make this woman mine. Next is Raven Song by TJ Klune. This is the second book in his Green Creek series, which are werewolf romances that all take place in this cozy small town full of werewolves called Green Creek. This is the romance between a wolf shifter and a witch. And this is a series you do have to read in order. You do have to read them in order. You cannot read this one as a standalone, but it's an MM witch werewolf romance. That is so good. I feel bad. I'm not really talking about the descriptions of some of these, but again, if you're on the fence on reading these books, you need to. <laughs> Mary in Secret by Anne Gracie is my next one. I really love this series. I feel like it's so underrated. This is the, I think second book, I believe. This book starts out with a ruined wedding. So our heroine is all set to marry a duke. And then the priest asks, um, whoever objects, forever hold their peace. Like you better say something now. And in walks our hero. And he's like, uh, you can't marry her. She's already married. And everyone's like, oh, gasps in the church, obviously. Um, turns out these two married when they were almost like children or they were teenagers. He's set to come collect his wife. She has believed that he has been dead all these years, like off at war. 
and um, she never told her family that she got married really young because she was fully believing that her, her husband was dead. And so she's in for a shock when the man she thought was dead comes walking down the aisle. I love this one. It's really messy, but really fun at the same time. Forever Her Duke by Scarlett Scott is another historical romance. This one's more of a novella length and it's kind of second chance, but it's more so like a marriage in trouble. So when these two got married, the hero kind of distanced himself from his wife and the heroine has no idea why he's been off gallivanting, doing things, not being at home for years. So this book starts out with her hosting a party, like a, um, a house party, is that what it's called? Where like people come and stay for long periods of time at your house, at your estate. The hero comes home and she's like, what are you doing here? And he has decided to finally make his wife see that how much he loves her and like explain why he was gone for so long and everything like that um and you have a bunch of other people during this house party like looking in on them like ooh, what's the tea what's the drama <laughs> another historical is a viking one this is the viking she would have married by lucy morris so the heroine in this book she's a shield maiden so kind of think of bran from game of thrones like she's a, a warrior woman she's been tasked to go on this trek to a different land to gather supplies for these people and the viking leader of the ship it just happens to be the man that she used to be in love with that she was like fully planning on getting married to but he ended up betraying her in like the worst way possible and he believes that she betrayed him so there's kind of like a little bit of communicate miscommunication because they both think the other person betrayed them when in actuality neither of them did and they're trying to figure that out through their trek through their giant trek to a different land. And lastly, I have a book perfect for the upcoming holiday season. This is How the Duke Saved Christmas by Anna Harrington. This is one of my favorite historical holiday books. So our heroine was recently paralyzed from the legs down because she was in a carriage accident. And before her accident, she was engaged to our hero who was, is still a Duke. And she calls off the engagement shortly after her um, accident and he is fully convinced that the reason why he did why she did that is because she blames him for the accident that's farther from the truth she thinks like how can he want to marry me i cannot walk anymore i cannot be a duchess i cannot run the household i'm not deserving of marrying a duke so that's why they broke up many moons ago um but then her and her brother are driving by his estate and their carriage breaks down oh no a bridge breaks down collapses down the road and it's about to be like really snowy so the heroine's brother is like okay let's just go to the duke's house because i know that it's close by and he's like my best friend let's go and so the heroine reluctantly agrees because she has nowhere else to go and while she's staying with the duke the duke decides to try to convince her to be his all over again to help her fall back in love with him i love this one so much it's a great historical with great disability representation anyways there you have it those are 10 romances with the second chance trope let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me what emoji should we do let's do a yellow heart emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all